In this video, I'm going to be talking about hydraulic horsepower, motor brake horsepower, pressure before and after chiller feed pump, piping at loss, and minor losses. Let's just say there are two pumps connected to a steel pipe. The running length between the first chiller feed pump P1 and the second pump P2 is 110 feet long. So we have 20 feet plus 85 feet plus 5 feet that gives us 110 feet so there are two long radius 90 degree elbows two butterfly valves two swing check valves two flange Y strainers and two flexible connectors the pressure before the second pump P2 is 30 psi pressure before the chiller feed pump P1 85 psi and the pressure after chiller feed pump 130 psi so the first question is uh, what's the pressure at the discharge of the second pump p2 and the second question is uh, what's the brake horsepower requirement of the motor for the chiller feed pump p1 if the pump's efficiency is 85 percent so the first thing we're going to do is to determine the number of feedings between P1 and P2 then calculate the pressure drop along the head loss path so this table can be applied to elbows and can be used to determine the pressure drop as uh, equivalent length of straight pipe table 5 can be applied to valves and can be used to determine the pressure drop as equivalent length of straight pipe and the table it can be used to control valves and flange strainers and can be used to determine the pressure drop as equivalent length of straight pipe so we have two long radius and 90 degree elbows so each of them has a pressure drop of 8.09 feet two butterfly valves uh, each of them has a pressure drop of 20 2.74 feet two sewing check valves uh, each of them has a pressure drop of 25.27 two flange uh, Y strainer each of them has a pressure drop of 110 feet and two flexible connectors with a pressure drop of 1 feet so adding these all numbers up that gives us an equivalent length of uh, 334.2 feet so we have uh, 110 feet the running pipe length plus uh, 334.2 gives us a total length of triple uh, 4.2 feet so to calculate the it loss the Darcy Weiss peak equation is used which uh, relates it loss or pressure loss due to friction loss along a given length of pipe so HL equals uh, FL uh, V squared divided by D and 2G where HL is uh, head loss uh, F is uh, friction factor L is the length of pipe uh, V is uh, velocity uh, D is the diameter of the pipe and G is uh, gravity. Friction loss rate for each pipe based on the diameter of the pipe can be found by using this uh, table. The table can be applied to new, smooth, clean and standard steel pipe. So we have a friction factor of uh, 0 0.015 a total length of uh, 444.2 feet a velocity of uh, 6.81 feet and a diameter of uh, 0.5 feet so 0 0.015 times uh, 444.2 feet uh, times uh, 6.81 
feet per second divided by 0.5 feet times 2 times uh, 32.2 feet uh, per second square we have now a total head loss of uh, 9.59 feet so the first pump uh, P1 is uh, 85 feet uh, higher than the second pump P2 so the elevation change is not taken into account because uh, this is a closed loop system in a closed loop system uh, friction rate is the only loss or height that the pump has to overcome to find the discharge pressure of uh, P2 we use uh, this formula so the discharge pressure of uh, P2 uh, equals the section pressure of uh, P1 plus density times the total head loss uh, divided by 144 square inches so we have a density of uh, 62.4 pounds uh, per cubic feet times 9.59 psi divided by 140 square inches that gave us uh, 4.15 psi so 85 psi plus uh, 4.15 psi that gave us a uh, discharge pressure of uh, 89.15 psi so the P2 raises the pressure from 30 psi at the inlet to 89.15 psi it's now slightly higher and getting less uh, 4.1 psi of pressure along the as it flows um, through that pipe due to friction and feedings such as elbows, folds and strainers so we need to now uh, find the liquid horsepower so to find the liquid horsepower we need to find the delta P which is uh, equals the discharge pressure of uh, P1 minus uh, the section pressure of uh, P1 we have the so we have the discharge pressure of 130 psi at the outlet of P1 minus uh, section pressure of uh, 85 psi so we have now a delta P of uh, 45 psi we can now uh, calculate the liquid horsepower by using this uh, formula delta P uh, times uh, volume flow rate divided by 17 and 14 so we have a delta P of 45 psi times 600 gpm divided by 17 and 14 it gave us liquid horsepower of 15.75 we can now calculate the brake horsepower of the motor for the p1 by using this uh, formula so the brake horsepower is the power required to drive the pump and equals to the liquid horsepower divided overall the efficiency of the pump so we have a liquid horsepower of 15.75 uh, divided by efficiency of 85 percent gives us a brake horsepower of uh, 18.53 and that's it for this video I appreciate you for watching